Hello friends, welcome to Exotic Planet. Today's episode is all about the amazing monk fruit. Don't you like to know more about this unique and wonderful super fruit? Sit back and enjoy this video. Monk fruit is a small, round fruit that originally hails from southern China. The monk fruit is also known as Luoha Guo or Buddha fruit. The fruit has been cultivated for centuries by Buddhist Luoham monks and thus it is popularly known as monk fruit. Monk fruit provides a great tasting natural sweetness that comes with the amazing advantage of zero added calorie. Due to this, the fruit has risen to celebrity status as an alternative sweetener. The sweetener is created by removing the seeds and skin of the fruit and crushing it to collect the juice, which is then dried into a concentrated powder. Monk fruit contains natural sugars, mainly fructose and glucose. However, unlike in most fruits, the natural sugars in monk fruit aren't responsible for its sweetness. Instead, it gets its intense sweetness from special antioxidants called mogrosides. This creates a sweetness sensation that is 150 to 300 times stronger than sucrose. Mogrosside extract has been used as a low-calorie sweetener for drinks and in traditional Chinese medicine since ages. In traditional Chinese medicine, monk fruit finds usage as a cold remedy and also as a digestive aid. Monk fruit leads to lower oxidative stress, reduced risk of obesity and diabetes, reduced inflammation and can help to keep the blood sugar level stable. There are no known side effects for monk fruit and thus is generally considered good for people who intend to cut down on dietary sugars. Monk fruit extract is now used as a standalone sweetener, flavor enhancer, and as a component of sweetener blends. Monk fruit extract is available in the form of powder and liquid concentrate. For commercial purposes, manufacturers mix monk fruit sweetener with other natural products such as inulin or erythritol, to reduce the intensity of the sweetness. Monk fruit sweetener does not contain fructose or glucose. Monk fruit has a very short shelf life. It is also not easy to grow and harvest the fruit easily. The fruit ferments and becomes rancid quickly after harvest. The monk fruit sweetener is thus made from extract derived from dried fruits. People may source the dried fruit or monk fruit tea in Asian grocery stores or traditional Chinese medicine suppliers. Monk fruit sweetener can be used as a sugar alternative in many foods and drinks, including tea, coffee, lemonade, smoothies, juices, sauces and ice cream among others. That is all for now. Hope you found this interesting and enjoyed the video. Please let us know your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like share and subscribe.